Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show how do I create a fixed length file and load that data into a database. This is one of the important use case where your source application generates the fixed length file and you need to read that file and load the data into the database. We will talk about what that fixed file is and what may be the use case uh, to achieve this. So let's get started. So let's understand the use case. The use case is, let's suppose uh, in your company, right, you may have a machine or you may have a gate where you need to swipe in your card and swipe out your card as, a, as and when you come in and go out from your office. So those application, the punch in and punch out application generates a large amount of data and this data needs to be transferred to your uh, time labor application for the project management or for your billing purpose and so on and so forth. So these application may generate data in a fixed length file format. So this data file that needs to be processed by an Oracle integration, which subsequently pushes the data into the OTL application. Instead of the OTL application, it can be your database, it can be your third party application, it can be your fusion application and any other application. But once the data is there in your Oracle integration cloud, you can push that data anywhere. Let's understand what is fixed length file. So basically fixed length file consists of different, different columns of records that maintains a consistent length. For an example, we let's consider a scenario the, where the data is, is, is stored in a text file. In this text file, you may have multiple columns, but each field within the file has a predefined length. For example, when you create a table in that table, you define a length of each and every column. Similarly, in the column you have in the file for each column, you will define a length like the, for the first column is always compromised of exactly eight characters. If there is less character, then for those to fill those extra characters gap, there will be a space. But if a first column value is greater than eight characters, then only eight characters will be accommodated, accommodated and the extra character will be terminated. The second column consists of exactly five characters and the third column contains precisely 12 characters and so on and so forth. So this format is commonly referred as a fixed length file. So consider a scenario like where we have this file which contains punch in time, it may be a little code, it may be some description, right? And you can see here, we can see some space between this because this column has some fixed file, fixed length, maybe 55 characters, it can it can accommodate 55 characters. But for example, it's this row uh, for this column, we have 45 characters and then next 10 characters will be filled with a space. The second, you can see the third, you can see this little space, the fourth, and then fifth, and then sixth, right? Similarly, the second row, like we have, you know, spaces here because we have 55 characters for the first, and then second, and then third value, and then fourth, right? And then fifth. So we have total five to six columns in this file, but every column has a fixed length. So to read those files, in integration, you have to create a schema file. So that schema file will let you know what is the character limit of the first column, second column, and then third column. So like the in, so we have created a schema records and then record, and then we have an element in time code name, out time description and user. So here you can see in the in time we have made it's like a fixed length style and the length will be 45 characters. It will not exceed more than that. The, for the code, the length will be eight. For the name, the length will be 16. For the out time, the length will be 61. Description will be 55, user will be four. So let's get into this and see how do we use this schema to read my fixed length file. So I have a file that I have written to my FTP. And then uh, we'll show you how to read the file. So the file that I have written uh, on my FTP has 195 rows. So let me create an integration here. Let's not this, let's use a schedule pattern. Let's say 
read fixed read time and read fixed length file on name of the integration click on a create button so first of all since my file resides on the ftp so i will use the ftp here FTP connection. Let's say read file. Next, I will read and then here I will put the input directory and then time the file name is my time entries. So my file name is time n t r i e s e n t r i e s. Next. And here is schema, you will choose your XSD document. Just give me a minute. Yeah, XSD document. And then you will upload the same XSD document that I have just shown you. Let me upload that. Next, and then finish. On the next screen, on the next step, I will use my Oracle ATP connection to write the data. So let's say insert time entries, perform an operation on a table. Next, it may take a little while, but that's fine. Let's wait. Admin, search all your tables. Uh, there is a table called time entry, import tables. Next. and then finish. All right, and then map the data here. Lead file response. records in time code name out time description and then user validate and then close all right now you have to enable the identifier here save and then close now let's activate this integration All right, and now run this integration. Now here, as of now, if you see select start from time entry, there is no data here as of now, but let's wait for this to complete. Refresh. You see processing completed successfully. Let's run this. And here you can see we have all the data. For example, this RT. If you see this here, you can see we have RT with spaces. So this is how you can read the fixed length file in Oracle integration and load the data into the database. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.